G'day Pisces, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. So we're going to do the love energy coming towards you, is it now? This could be past, present or future. Cross watches, this could be you, this could be someone else. Um, just looking at your previous readings and some player that thinks they can just come in and stuff with you and you're done. So I'm hoping... They boot off and you get something better this week. <laughs> Alright, we've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, getting to know someone. Hey, Pisces, love energy coming towards Pisces. Three cards, please. That's a love energy coming towards Pisces. Yeah, you probably saw what that was. <laughs> I know, you probably clicked off, shaking your head. No. Oh, that's too many. One more, please. I'm going to let you have these two because. Alright. Because. Because your last, your readings have been shit. That's why. <laughs> Alright, we got flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Someone wants to come in and flirt. We don't know who it is yet. Pisces, don't scream. Children, your love life is being affected by children or someone who has childhood issues. And then the two that came out together are religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your, by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So, something about their belief systems makes them retreat. I'm going to read those two together, all right? I'm going to treat them as one. Okay, bottom of the deck is give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So someone wants to give this a chance. They're trying to keep an open mind. They might have something they want to heal with you or they've got family issues they need to heal. And they're staying optimistic. Looking out for red flags and if it's unrequited. So that's why they're coming in as a flirt. They're trying to keep an open mind. Could be childhood issues here. Which that's how I'm going to read that card from now on because not everybody has children. And so, universe, that's how that card is read. Oh, we're up in the head about it. Nine of swords. All right, tell me about flirt. What's behind them coming into flirt with Pisces? Who is this flirt? The king of swords and the knight of swords. Wow, air energy, full on. All right, so they've got a plan. This is a tactic. And they're coming in, normally charging forward, like, fast and furious. But this one's going a bit slower because he's about to step off a cliff. Okay, so they've got a plan. And they're going to come forward possibly to communicate this flirting. But, I mean, it's air energy. It could be... Doesn't seem very passionate, it seems quite truthful. And the chariot charging forward triumphantly. Success. Moving on. Perhaps they're going to flirt and move on. 
let you know that because I've got sneak in. Sneaky sneaker. Teton line steel and dodgy dude. Mm, indecision. Could be all about themselves. They see you as an empress working on yourself and they're just waiting. <sighs> waiting for you to be ready to party. Ooh. Okay, so this isn't mature love, even though they've got a very good mind about their flirting abilities and how they can charge in and out with that. Alright, a bit childish though when it comes to serious love. Tell me about children. It's this childishness. And child energy. Hmm, it's interesting. I've got the Four of Wands. Stability, grounded, but then we've got the Six of Swords moving on to Karma Waters. They're childish when it comes to stability and they just move on to where there's less responsibility because they're all about the passion. And there's the Queen of Swords to match the King of Swords. Yeah, they find that going slow and using logic and stability is toxic to them. They want to give to others. Yeah, they know that Ten of Pentacles takes control. And your heart has to be in it for there to be stability. So letting the wheel turn, even though it's doing their head in. No, I think they're letting the wheel turn because it does do their head in and they just want passion. Uh, it's what makes them happy. Well, I don't know if you're going to want to play with them. Maybe you do. Maybe you're quite happy for them to... Um, maybe, I mean, maybe you do have children and they see you as stable, but they're moving on from that because they can't handle that stability. There's the Emperor and the um, Ten of Pentacles again just flew out. Yeah, they know they need to boss up if they want Ten of Pentacles, but will they? Alright, let's find out. Tell me about religious factors and retreat. And their belief systems make them retreat from that Ten of Pentacles again. And the Queen of Cups. That's you, Pisces. <sighs> yeah, their belief systems tell them to retreat when it comes to long-term stability and the best love that there is. Something in their belief systems. Makes them shut down and run. Retreat. They get confused. They think it's an illusion. They have other options. They're just in it for the little bit of passion. That's uh, immaturity. And then they're out. See, that bit of flirting and then they're out. The only thing they want to control is partying. And they'll wait for the next ship to come in. Yeah, because th yeah, they know if they put work in, they think they're going to get hurt. It's going to be a painful ending, so it's just all about investing in the passion. They don't want to get stuck. They don't want to be in their head about something. They just want to be foolish and free. So I don't think they want to give this another, oh, they might just want to come in and flip. Give it another go. See if you're interested in playing again. 
Bloody hell. Pisces, are you entertaining this person? If you're looking for love, stop entertaining this person. <laughs> if this is what you want, then fine. But don't expect them to stay. That's all good. Mm, three of air, heartbreak. Great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself or, or others. So, you know... Oh dear, Pisces. Alright, tell us more about this love energy coming towards Pisces. So these two will be read together. One went on the floor and the other one stayed on the table. So we've got the King of Fire. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. That's that charisma. King of Fire. The King of Passion. King of Passionate Action. Passion and action. Oh, now I've got the hiccups. But see, love, page of water. A page. King of passion and, love, and action. But when it comes to love, they're a page. Children. Childish. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. But yeah, it's all about new. It's all about new. Now, these two together are the five of water. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilled milk. And the star. Archangel Jophiel, I think it is. Jophiel. Happy times. Make positive Optimistic long-term plans on the right path. Okay. I'm getting the feeling that, you know, things don't go the way they hoped. And then all of a sudden they're back out there again. Off to find more happy times. Because it starts getting serious. So off they go again. Sorry. Yeah, there's that retreat. Their belief system tells them to retreat from stability and full on love. Go off and find other options. It confuses them. Bottom of the deck, awakening. Archangel Gabriel. Look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. See, I think this flirting is a temporary standstill because they don't... They, they don't want to look at things differently. They're not ready to. Ego, there you go. The devil card. Archangel Jophiel. Again, a false sense of entrapment. Being overly focused on material things. Negative or fear-based thoughts. Yeah. They don't want to get stuck because they're ego. Ten of Earth, a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. And the Page of Fire. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They feel stuck. So they listen to their ego. They don't wanna they don't wanna be stuck. They don't want commitment. They wanna just go off outgoing, creative, confident, mischief. Mischievous, sorry. 
Use them in an exciting new endeavour. Again, new. Use your originality and ingenuity. So, they might be financially doing fine. But, hmm. Yeah, that's a temporary standstill for them. Oh, Pisces, I'm sorry. Hey, if you just want to play, this is someone to play with, but they're not hanging around. Ace of Wands, it's all about passionate new beginnings. New beginnings with that wand. Alright, tell me about the King of Fire. The Star. <coughs> Sorry. Is that star again? It's their wish fulfillment, or they like to heal things and for things to be going, things people to be happy with them. It's the love them, leave them sort of. They want everybody to like them, or else it's just their wish fulfillment. Yeah, but there's fear and secrets behind it all. To be the king of fire, to be the king of passion, that's their wish, but. It's all secretive and it's hidden and there's fears driving it. Competition, fighting, in a conflict about love. And they try and sneak away from doing any healing or self-work. The tower's going to fall. They cause a tower every time they go out and party. Hmm. Well, they don't want that tower to fall on all that partying and all those options, so they hold back from manifesting anything that pe that is 3D, that's working on, you know, working with others for a new beginning. They don't want to... <sighs> yeah, that Queen of Pentacles, they don't want that. They run from anything like that. Okay, tell me about the page of water, the page of cups. Okay. We have the page of swords, the knight of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, and the four of wands. That's interesting. Okay. I'm getting that they like, they watch people. They're childish when they come to love, but I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a protection thing. They don't offer much. They keep it at a page level because they're, they are still trying to work out how these people move forward with stability how do they go so slow and work on things work so hard on something for it just to be stable let's see what's under the deck I might explain a bit more here yeah when they can just have passion and there's that page It's like they, the king mode is here when it comes to flirting. And the king mode is here when it comes to passion. But it's page of water. They're not really interested in that. They don't know much about it. All they know about is passion. They see it as hard work to have anything stable. 
<coughs> it's pages and pages. Page of cups, page of pentacles, out in the cold, moving on. Don't want, yeah, commitment, nope, don't want that. I'm in my boat, Choof, off I go. That's in the two hard basket. <coughs> my strategy is passionate communication. Like it's always been in the past or since I've known it's, it's what I know from childhood. Passionate action. Yeah, two of cups, it's a loving connection, and that is the balance, but they're juggling that and waiting, so that, you know, leave them waiting, juggle them, leave them waiting, go off, give to others, in that cycle, look for new offers, <coughs> because they're afraid of stability. They're afraid of oh, connecting. Yeah, we haven't done yet. <laughs> Not finished yet. <laughs> Sorry, Pisces. Oh, they want to apologize. Get more information on. Uh, give us a chance. I don't know. What's the five of water and the star? Five of cups and the star. Yeah, them two together. Judgment and the Page of Cups. <sighs> okay. So, they want to apologize for uh, disappointing you. Try and get a second chance to heal things. It's at the bottom of the deck. But it's a burden. It's a heavy burden. Possibly it's a heavy burden that they've disappointed you. Or that you... Because King of Fire can be in his ego a lot too. So... They don't like the ego being hurt. It's all about passion. Bottom of the deck is the fool. <coughs> New beginning. But they're guarded because of the truth. About how they feel about long term stability. It does their head in. They want to be single. Married life. No. They're holding back from that because they know that they probably will just be a disappointment or they'll be disappointed. So they create choices, close out cycles, being stable, telling the truth when it comes to love. You need patience for that and they can't decide whether they want to do that. They want that passion. They like the competition. They like keeping secrets, the head games, holding back love, walking away from people. They know it's toxic, that's why they're stuck. But they end things. They need to transform because it's doing their head in. Because it's breaking their heart too. They just don't know what to do. That's why they just keep doing what they're doing. They just keep flirting. They just keep playing that game, running away because of some belief system they have. They believe they're going to get hurt, so they keep, they're intelligent, they know exactly what they're doing, they know how to protect themselves and communicate, and they know how to use that passion of theirs, but when it comes to love, nah gets too serious, they run. They don't want to hurt you, but... Mm. Yeah, they're a bit childish when it comes to stability. Bottom of the deck, kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Yeah, that's the bit they like. 
tell us more about this love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Tell us more. We have <clears throat> date, see, page of cups, meeting someone new, dating, getting out there, plan set a date, see, meeting someone new, dating, not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry, mm, they don't want to deal with the hurt. And they avoid people. They ghost them. Or they just don't want to deal with that reason why they... They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to deal with facing those emotions. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. They feel betrayed by something... Possibly something something in their belief system. Dating's okay. Anything more? No, because they're going to stab you in the back. They know that. Or they think they're going to get stabbed in the back, so they walk away before it gets too serious. Bottom of the deck, love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. You know, I'm getting this love call. Could be, you know... Booty call. Flirting. Makes them feel good. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Mm. Well, they make these choices because they think it's healthy choices. They don't think that, yeah. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Yeah, they're focusing out. They're not looking within... At the reasons why, but you know, and they're on the lookout as well. Hammer sabotage, see, self sabotage, <sighs> rebuilding, integration, sorry, interrogation, repetitive, persistent working on it. Yeah, they keep sabotaging any commitments that they have, they're always on the lookout. They think it's the that right thing to do for them. So it's just, yeah, dating and love calls. Anything else? No. Anything else and they retreat. All right, let's see what they would like to say to Pisces. Do you really care? <laughs> Oh, maybe. Hey, if you're just after a fling, it's, you know, if you're happy just to flirt with someone and not, you don't want anything serious, this is perfect for you. But, um, yeah, what would they like to say to Pisces? Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. afraid of these feelings oh yeah they definitely are they're afraid of feelings they're afraid of feeling stuff I'm sorry I lied to you maybe the love call was you thought this was going to be romantic but we've got page of wands under the deck here with the fool Maybe they make it, and the love call, like, you know, do you think it's love when it's not? They're just childish, playing childish games, because they don't want anything. We can work it out. They think maybe you can work it out, that you can give this a chance for them to just be there, one of their options, or one of their friends with benefits. Maybe that's what they want. And I love your smile. See? 
I love your smile. Yeah, they what they yeah, they don't like making you upset. They like it when you smile. They like it when you're happy, but And can we talk? They set love call. Love call, can we talk? I can't wait to see you again. You are beautiful. And I'm sorry I hurt you. But see, there's no I love yous. And there's no I miss yous. They're sorry they hurt you. And they want to come in and apologise for that, for that and for lying. They think you're beautiful and they love your smile. They can't wait to see you again and can we talk? Because it's all about passion. It's just passion. Nothing more. Well, sorry Pisces, like, you have to decide, is this what you want? Because it's going to keep coming up if you keep dealing with it. Um, it's not going to turn into a commitment or anything, so it's going to block anything else coming in. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to keep flirting, that's cool, all good. No worries. Uh, if you're looking for love, um, this is the wrong tree to be barking up. Barking up the wrong tree. Alright, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll do another reading next week and see what's coming in then. Alright, all the best. Take care and I'll catch you later.